happy Monday, the 15th of July. It is raining outside, it has been for most of the day actually. We've got like a flood warning. Great. Also, I live on the second floor, ground floor, first floor, second floor. I live on the second floor. So I don't really need to worry about, you know, flooding. But what I do need to worry about is my spare room where I work in. There's an ongoing issue with the flooding, with the leak, should I say. I'm still not too sure who owns that. So it's still not fixed. Anyway, um, dinner. Let's have some dinner. So I have got Chinese takeaway leftovers. But, I also have this stuff left over, which kind of actually, I looked at it earlier today and I was like, this looks honestly like cat food, or it looks like dog food. It looks so unappetizing, because it's all brown. But that's what I've got, I haven't got anything else with me. So, I think I'm going to have some of this for my dinner. I don't have any salad or like anything to go with it so it's literally this it is quinoa and beef and i'm just gonna live with that uh to go with it i am actually contemplating okay so i do have some vegetable spring rolls and some prawn toast i think i might have them mixed with this satay sauce that was with my chicken which i might actually have as well i'm mixing and choosing so yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do but firstly i'm gonna um get out a little portion of this every day i keep thinking that my foot's better and i keep on like testing it like oh it's, it's, it's a day of the day that like, it's okay i feel like it's not as bad as it once was but it's still pretty painful um it's now been four weeks four weeks of pain and i have honestly noticed a real shift in my uh like my not not necessarily like my mental health but definitely my mood like i definitely feel like i have been a lot more down this week and i've just not been feeling great like this whole entire weekend i didn't leave my flat once and i feel like that really gives you like the vibes of how i'm truly feeling i'm just not feeling like motivated or just as normal as i feel like i should be um and that's simply down to the fact that I just feel like I'm stuck. I have been doing a little bit of yoga to try and like move my body, like even like a little bit. But even so, it's not really working like how I would like it to work. Also, yes, you are correct. It's the middle of July and I'm wearing this, which is like a really warm wintry cardigan because it's flipping cold it's not warmed up at all here in the uk we are still constantly with rain and i am tired of it i want the sun the summer this is our first summer in years probably like last like four or five years where we've had no hot weather like at all i have not been sitting around my flat wearing shorts and t-shirts like apart from those like two or three days in June. I want the summer to come. I feel like that's also probably not helping me and my matters much either. Anyway, that's my long update. I'm hungry, I'm gonna have some food. I'm probably gonna redo my nails because I don't really like them. Not a fan of them, so I think I'm gonna redo them. They were fine for my work thing on friday but now it's been four days i think it's fine i'm gonna redo all my nails and i'm totally okay with that happy tuesday um it is 
same clothes as yesterday day unofficially but it is true i am wearing the same clothes as i was yesterday um i'm just a little bit chilly still today and this is comfortable and i quite like wearing white at the moment it's quite nice anyway and it's my lunch hour you can probably hear my microwave going off in the background i'm having some leftovers for lunch and actually these leftovers are going to last me a lot Ooh. Up a lot longer than I expected because tomorrow evening I will be going to my parents for dinner. My uncle is staying the night. I'm not too sure why he's staying the night, but my uncle is staying the night, and I have been invited to go around for dinner, and that's what I thought I'll do. I'll go and say hi because I've not seen my parents in a couple of weeks, and it's always nice to see family. So I think I'm gonna go and prepare for dinner tomorrow after work. So, um, I've just got leftovers that are, at this point, probably going to last me until Friday, which I think is pretty good going. Um, so I'm having my cat food for now, or dog food, whatever you want to call it. It looks very appetizing, but it actually tastes quite tasty. So I feel like there is some proof in the pudding with that. Um, but anyway, um, I'm also very tempted to make flapjacks, but like unofficial flapjacks. I kind of just want to have like the mixture, but not wait for the, the full thing to be created. So I'm tempted just to, you know, melt some butter and sugar together and then add the oats in and then just eat that as a snack that sneaky or naughty or what I don't know but um I have a lot of like leftover ingredients from my birthday because my brother gave me the ingredients because he wasn't going to use them anymore so I've got like random stuff like walnuts loads of brown sugar um some icing sugar and oh an additional butter so I've got a lot of butter that I need to get through so um yeah, that's my thought process for now. That I really want to have that. And I feel like I'm going to have a snack of that this afternoon. Um, still haven't been food shopping. I still don't have any fruit that's edible. I've got mouldy strawberries. I've got mouldy apples. And that's pretty much it for fruit wise. Unless I make myself a smoothie. This is semi oat plant-based vegan friendly toasty tasty drink in which with calcium uh, iodine vitamin d and b12 um the, oat, the usual oat drink i buy is um literally just oats and water and nothing else in it i don't know why this is additional stuff in here it also does say that it is created in the same place as um milk and wheat and coliac allergies because it was created in those environments so that that's always good to know like i haven't got an allergy it's just i get quite bloated when i have normal milk and stuff so um yeah anyway so this is semi oat milk so it's not as i feel like um it didn't really taste of anything last night like it like when I had it in my tea it had, didn't have like an overpowering taste to it uh, sometimes oat milk can have like an aftertaste to it or you can have like the twang to it Um this like it did not have like an aftertaste to it it just tasted like normal tea to me um, which you know I'm not that mad about like I think that's a good that's a good thing my food is cooked i'm gonna go eat this um i also am going to probably have a leftover prawn toast and vegetable spring roll that is part of my chinese meal and that's probably what i'm gonna have for my dinner tonight actually is leftover chinese meal um because i do have i did buy myself a chinese at the weekend um i have just come off my time of the month is that tmi probably a little bit but when i have my 
time of the month I get so hungry and I get really bad cravings and Chinese is one of them and you know what like I can't have like all the stuff that's in the Chinese on a normal day basis and I thought you know what I'm gonna treat myself I don't care if I'm gonna get tummy aches this week I'm gonna have it so I'm having all of the food that I shouldn't be eating and I'm totally fine with that you know what you gotta live a little bit you gotta live a little bit and um, I know what foods trigger me I know what foods are not great for me and I'm like totally okay with kind of not sticking to it completely like as long as I stick to it like 99% of the time I think having it a couple of days is not gonna kill me you know it's not going to ruin my diet forever also I know that the meal I'm gonna have tomorrow night is also going to be food that I won't particularly be eating uh, on a daily basis either so you know what I'm like you know let's just continue this on throughout this week and have all of the bad foods so that's what we're doing anyway it's lunchtime I'm talking too much, I'm going to eat my food, I'm really hungry actually, I don't know, well I, I, I was going to say I don't know where this appetite has come from, but I do know where this appetite has come from, because this is me every time that that time comes. Okay, food. Right, I'm going to eat. Eat. Um, I feel like my highlight over the past week is a little bit of a different note but it is the fact that we finally for the first time in like seven years seven and a half years had Louis Tomlinson and Harry Styles publicly in the same place no official picture of them together but the first time these sworn enemies were in the same place together and I died. Like, it's so funny. They were sitting relatively nearby each other as well, which I think is hilarious. Like, do you reckon they like, peer like, I know Harry was sitting up higher. So did he look down and be like, oh, he's there. And did Louis look behind and be like, oh, he's here. Did they meet? In the back, in the backstage. That's not what I'm saying. Did they meet inside in the VIP area? Like, guys, this is unprecedented. And the fact that like all of the news articles are coming out say that like they're re reunited. This is like unheard of because for years they have always been um, not allowed to be seen with each other. They've always been not allowed to be like, you know, within touching distance. I'm a huge Larry by the way, have been since like 2010 and um, this is like the first thing we've had in years so I, I'm pretty chuffed. Anyway, I'm just going off on a little bit of a waffle now. Good evening guys, I am popping over to my parents because my uncle is up here I'd say, not down here because he came from the south um he is here for i don't know what the reason is that he's here for um but he's here and he's having dinner at my parents so i'm going around to have dinner with them so that is the deal um this is my outfit i've got a t-shirt on because it's warmed up it's 22 degrees um this, these leggings are the leggings that have got a hole in them as you can see not much I can do about them but um yeah this is my makeup look that I have gone for a simple but effective um I feel like it's beginning a little bit blown out The cut the wow words. The foundation I'm using um, is a little bit too dark for me, but what can we do? Right, let's shut you down. Um, I think I'm gonna make my way 
over there pretty much now um don't quite know when we're having dinner but i think it's wise to make my way over there now oh, my poor little toe it's still hurting these shoes are not comfortable for it oh no they're not i feel like i can feel like an additional pressure or like it just feels like my toe has got like something extra bulging to the to the sole of the foot. Anyway, I don't know. Um, before I go, let's sort out Mills with her food. passengers in my car in my breath that's a lie i was gonna say that but that's a lie you're the second passengers that have been in my car my mum was in my car i think yes i have taken my mum in my car so not quite the first passenger sorry for lying to you there for a little second anyway um i woke up this morning with like the worst neck pain i can't look that way very well or like it hurts to lean my head like this it's so painful anyway i must have stepped funny about it i had a really deep sleep last night so i think i just didn't move much um anyway last night the dinner was really good um it was a nice catch up with my uncle and uh i came home and fell asleep I went to bed early, I don't know what happened, I just felt really tired and just decided to go to bed straight away. So that's what I did. Anyway, I, so yeah, um, I figured that, so one thing about my car that I have figured out, which I was trying to figure out when I got home last night in the dark, is I think the rear view camera is placed slightly to one side or it's angled slight, slight to one side because I am lining it up as it is on the screen because it gives you like the it gives you like 
the lines to where you should put your wheels you know so you can line up perfectly well to the space that you're in but it always parks me slightly to the right when I'm reversing in so like I get out of the car and I'm like more towards the car that's on my right than the one that's on my left so uh, yeah I don't quite know how I'm gonna try and sort that out I think I'm gonna have to like um, experiment and try and figure out the correct measurements and like ignore the markings on the screen because they are what guide me because I am very bad at parking otherwise <laughs> but um yeah anyway it's currently 8 45 in the morning I do start work in 15 minutes um I don't know I think I might I might go to Tesco at lunchtime and get a couple of things. I'm really missing having some bananas and like I need to get some other personal thingy majiggy. So I might go to Tesco at lunchtime to get that. And then when I come home, experiment about how to park. <laughs> I think that's what I'm gonna do. I might have lunch early and have lunch whilst I'm working and then actually use my lunch hour to go to Tesco and like figure out how I'm meant to be parking because it's the same everywhere and um, I can't really park forwards in my space because of the angle it's at um, it makes it very difficult to park inward like go in, into your space frontwards it's, it's difficult so you have to kind of reverse into it just because of the angle it is in to get into the space and then it's easy to actually leave as well anyway long story short i think i'm gonna try and test and how to do it but yeah anyway uh, also the weather has finally warmed up i'm back to wearing shorts for the first time in like a month um this week we are getting warm weather and then i think next week it's going back to being cold again um i don't know what is wrong with my toe i'm wondering whether it's like a ligament issue or like a tendon or something i don't know if it's actually a bone because i feel like the hurt would be more painful if it was a bone and like i have broken my wrist and my finger before so i know how it feels it just feels kind of like sore so I feel like maybe I've strained something, I, I just don't know, but anyway, uh, I really want to kind of go back into running. Also, at work we're doing a step challenge and I don't want to like be at the bottom, so I do want to try and get some walking in. Um, not the best timing, obviously, with a hurt toe, but I'm going to still try my best to do that. Anyway, that is my quick five minute update and I will catch you guys later maybe not don't know okay i have a matching bag with my matching shorts and um, i'm gonna go to tesco and get some fruit and some other little bits and bobs through my lunch hour happy friday it is now a lunchtime and it is a lovely toasty 29 degrees outside right now uh, one day of summer is here or well, two days of summer I guess because it was warm yesterday too um so it's currently my lunch hour I have just started the upload for my video to go up tonight so I went for a walk yesterday to try and test my toe and see how that fares after not really walking for like four weeks it still hurts and it hurts more today than it did yesterday because obviously i had a lot more time on it yesterday but i think that's not going to stop me from going for a walk because i want to like get that vitamin d and like be out in the sun because obviously i spend most of my time indoors so that is the plan, um, I'm going to go for a walk after work, might bring you guys, might not, haven't quite decided, if I do bring you guys, it means I have to bring a bag, because I'm not going to carry you guys 
Oh, I'm going to have to change my shorts because these shorts will not fit you. I'm surprised it's not busy here, but um, the weather feels delightful. It's about 20 seven degrees it's about six o'clock not too bad anyway this is one of my favorite places to go to with all the woodland but also because it's right next to a lake which you can see in like a little second sorry I thought there was a guy with a dog behind me but it doesn't seem to be there anymore anyway I'll show you I'm turning you guys around now There is the lake. Don't know how much of this walk I can actually film because the battery is flashing. So that means I've got low battery. Not great. I don't know on my end. I don't have a spare one for me, but absolutely love this lake. I will be surprised if there's no one on it. But it is a delightful summer evening. Our first one the entire year. And it is delightful. Okay, we're going for a walk, probably for like another little hour, and then go home. I'll probably catch you when I'm back at home, to be honest. I don't think this is going to last. I'll see, I'll, I'll try and film a little bit later on. I've been walking for like 30 minutes as it is. So, there we go. I'm very confused where the man with the dog went. Come on. Halfway. The canal is just there. Okay, I'm now back home with my hat hair. Um, that was an hour and 45 minute walk. It's now like nearly 8 p.m. So I think I'm gonna make myself some dinner. I'm probably gonna have some pasta. Um, something really simple. Yeah. Happy Saturday. Um, I watched Twisters in 4DX. That was an experience. I was thrown about literally everywhere. And then I rushed home as quick as I could to watch qualifying. Um, qualifying was really weird. But a really good result. McLaren are uh, one, two, front row lockout. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, Alpine are definitely the worst team. They've overtaken Haas as the worst team. McLaren are like the fastest car now, but Max is still the fastest driver. However, he's not getting poles as much as he used to. So at least on qualifying. They're the fastest car on one lap. So races is always a little bit different. So we'll see what's going to happen tomorrow. We may get a double podium for McLaren. I am going to hope I get so nervous when Lando and Piastri are in the front two spots. Uh, I can never kind of rest during the race because I'm so nervous because they are my drivers. I'm a McLaren fan, so anyway, that is tomorrow's problem. Um, right now, I'm just having some lunch. It is five o'clock actually, um, but I am having some lunch now, and then I'm going to do some washing, like um, dishwashing up, 
and then I'm gonna redo my nails because I want to and I usually like to do them whilst I watch Simply Nailogical or Christine do her streams but she's doing right now which I'm a little bit late watching it but I'm still going to watch the stream whilst I do my nails and yeah I'm kind of tempted to do some like nail art as well so we'll see we'll see what I'm gonna do I have no idea what yet but I think I'm gonna maybe do some sort of nail art vibe we'll see anyway that's my little update happy Saturday everyone hope you have a good day happy Sunday um, I have just edited and I'm just exporting my vlog not my vlog my deck planning video to go up for July let me go and re get a new battery because it's gonna die before I can even finish what I'm talking about hang on hold on all right, as I was saying before I had to go and change my battery, um, happy Sunday. It is the 21st of July. I think all the kids are now broken up for the summer holidays. So um, time for me to stay inside a little bit more because I feel like it's gonna be a lot busier elsewhere. Um, my walk on Friday, I have to admit my toe is feeling a lot worse. Also, um, last night I felt a little bit um, depresso, so I did go to bed a little bit early and I had nine hours of sleep, which is unheard of. But I feel so alive today, like the most awake I felt in a long time. I woke up at like 7 on a Sunday and I was like, oh, I'm ready for the day, let's go. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm feeling, I don't know, I, I feel just a little bit sad at the moment. I don't know that's just feeling quite lonely or what, but yeah, like I feel like I'm missing out on so much. Like a lot of my friends are having like kids these days. A lot of people I'm seeing online who are like my age are like married and have kids and all that stuff and I just feel like I am very lonely in comparison to everyone else um I don't have that connection I don't really understand that like I just live vicariously through everyone else so yeah I just feel I don't know just a little bit lonely a little bit sad this, this happens quite regularly um I just feel like I'm missing out on a lot and I just kind of rely on like f1 to keep me going so i'm so glad that there is like a race today because like that's my community i've got friends in the community though they are all online um it's the only thing that kind of keeps me going at this time anyway talking about the race there is a race happening in an hour yeah in an hour and um mclaren are both on the front row and I'm quite nervous about it, really nervous about it. Um, I don't want Lando to bottle another win, but I am terrified of that happening. But I have a little bit of nerves about it. I always do when he's front row, his third pole of his career. Hungary is such an interesting track, like it's one of my favourites. Um, but I, you just never know what's going to happen and so I'm kind of scared, like really scared. Um, I do think Max is probably going to win the race, I would like to be wrong about that but I do think Max will overtake the McLarens and win. Um, I just really hope that, you know, McLaren, <sighs> McLaren have like the fastest car but Max is the fastest driver. So. Yeah, I'm just a little bit nervous. Um, there's also rumours about like the, uh, the Red Bulls have like declined in performance because they had like some illegal thing on their car which they had to take off for a move and that's to kind of um, slow down their performance a little bit. But also all the other uh, teams have kind of caught up now. Uh, like we've got Haas now who are doing quite well. Williams, like Albon's doing better now. We've got like B Carb. Uh, Alpine are definitely now the worst. The, the worst. 
Um, but yeah, we'll see. I'm I'm nervous. I'm very nervous about this, guys. Don't know what to think. Um, I still don't get paid for my YouTube videos, guys. Just as an FYI. If you do like and uh, subscribe and like help my channel out, it does mean that in the future I will be able to get paid to upload my videos. I have so many videos on my channel that I feel like I have spent so many hours editing, filming, posting and a lot of my like free time goes into my YouTube and the, like, the fact that I don't get anything for it is insane. Before they had like the thousand subs and the uh, limit of how many hours watched and things. I was getting paid for posting but I was still getting something of it but then they you know increased the the limit of, of what it should be and so and then I got that removed from my account so um yeah I'm still you know waiting on that 30p because I never ended up getting it just so you guys are fully aware like I do keep this like in my head all the time 669 subscribers so i beat that and obviously i do have two uploads a week so definitely have more than three uploads in the last 20 days i'm just struggling with the watch hours i am also trying to grow my shorts as well because i know they are meant to do really well these days but i am not a short form content creator i am much more of a long form I also watch a lot more long form, like I don't really use TikTok, I don't really watch many reels, I don't really watch shorts, so I kind of just upload what I like to watch, but I do know and understand that short form, like TikToks, reels and all that stuff are more common these days, so I am trying my hardest to start growing my shorts. Um, if you have any ideas of what I can post in my shorts, let me know, because I really struggle with that short form content i just i get so stuck which is why they're so sporadic i'd like to do them maybe like once a month or like every other week or just more more frequently i just yeah really struggle with that so if you have any ideas let me know what a race um i am fuming we had a McLaren 1-2, which I'm, I'm happy about, but not the way it happened. McLaren, the team, are at fault for this, not Lando or Oscar. They did nothing wrong. It's totally McLaren's fault. They basically, they gave Lando the undercut, which meant that he was leading the race. So really, they should have pitted Oscar first. Instead, there was a whole blackmailing and gaslighting to Lando to basically give up his spot. So, Lando was leading by six seconds. He was clearly winning the race. And then the 68th lap out of 70, he gave up his place for Oscar to win. And I am fuming. Like, Lando should have won this fair and square. Um, he was on pole. He was you know, the fastest car out there. Um, if they really wanted it to happen, they should have uh, pitted Oscar first. 100%. I'm not happy as a McLaren fan for how that played out today. Um, I think they screwed up Lando's race. They screwed up Oscar's race. And Lando should have won. Fair and square. He had the pace. And now I know that Lando's going to get all the hate because people love to hate Lando and they'll think that he's too soft, but this is totally not Lando's fault. He was just driving. Oscar wasn't catching up. Um, and if they have screwed this up for Lando in the championship, I am going to be fuming. Like, I already am fuming, but I'll be raging even more than I am today. So yeah, I mean, it was a good race. There was a lot of uh, back and forth between Max Verstappen and his 
engineer which is quite funny to listen to he was also not a very happy buddy he also had a little crash with hamilton which is also quite funny it gave me 2021 vibes um and then there was also uh yeah just the team orders from mclaren <sighs> what a day um it was a boring race but also entertaining just because of the radios. Absolutely not happy with the result of the race. Like, I feel like I should be happy because Oscar won. But how he won it, I'm not happy. It's now 10 past 7. Um, I'm watching currently. Actually, to be fair, I just got back home. Not gonna lie. I just got back home. I went for a, like an hour walk just to kind of like calm myself. Also, the weather is like perfect. It's like 20, 21 degrees outside. It feels so like nice to walk in. So I went for like an hour walk along the canal. I'm now back home, obviously. Um, my washing ended ages ago because obviously it started before the race even started. So I'm going to put my washing up. Um, I'm going to continue watching this video, which I've still got like three hours left of. Um, this is a video I came across, actually it was in my recommendations, I don't really know why, but it's of this bloke who climbed Mount, e Mount Everest earlier on this year and he basically posted his, his entire journey, like individual days, but then he's also kind of put it all into one video, so I'm kind of watching the entire video of that. Washing done left my phone running um dinner time it's currently 8 p.m i'm obviously not going over to my parents because they didn't invite me um honestly my parents are the only like social vibes i get but technically i saw them on wednesday so it's not been a full week so you know you take some you leave some um i think i'm gonna do my english breakfast thing so bacon eggs mushrooms tomato do i have any tomato actually what do i do i do have some tomato so tomato mushrooms two vibes of two types two vibes two types of bacon we've got smoky bit the most smoky we've got streaky bacon and we've got bacon rashers whatever they are. I prefer streaky bacon and I don't think I even realised I picked up rashes but I did. So I'm going to have them and of course we have an egg which I'm just going to fry up as well. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I do have some bread. Um, the only bread I've got is in here. And it is some olive bread. I probably should have bought some bread today. I didn't think about that. I'll have to probably go to the little during the week and get some bread. So I'm gonna have some bread. And I will fry these all up together to make my dinner. Usually what I will do is I will cook all the bacon, mushrooms and tomatoes together. I'll usually chop them up all up together. Even the bacon, I'll chop up into little pieces, fry it all together. And then once that's cooked, I then kind of remove it from the plate, then put this in to fry. And then once that's done, the final piece I usually do is fry the bread or mm, Sometimes I fry the bread at the same time as the bacon and the what's it. But I haven't decided if I'm going to have like a fried egg or if I'm going to do scrambled egg. I love letters. Alright, hello everyone. It is now Monday evening. It is 10 past 8. I've just walked in. Um, 
I finished work, I went straight out for a walk, so I think, well actually I think I, I finished work late, I finished work at 10 past 6, and then I went straight out the door for a walk, so I guess it has technically been, yeah, two hours, two hour walk, um, I didn't record some of it, so I don't actually know how far I've gone, where I have recorded is, I recorded nearly five kilometres, which took me an hour and seven minutes, but I know I walked further than that, so I reckon I've just walked like 10k without really realising it. Um, I went a route that I don't usually go, and I basically set myself a goal of walking as far away from home as possible until the audiobook chapter that I'm reading or listening to finished and it got me that far down and then I turned around walked up a lot of the canal um, went through some parks and now I'm here that yeah two hours that was pretty impressive we're doing like a, a walking challenge at work and I signed up for it so I thought why not try and do a walk every single day I'm probably not going to go that hard every single day not gonna lie um i do want to do like more workouts as well but i thought why not try getting a walking one in especially as mondays would usually be a running day and as i'm off running at the moment like honestly walking that was painful for my toe probably didn't help the shoes i was working, wearing weren't really walking shoes but um yeah i can imagine it would be even worse uh, if i was gonna run Saying that, I think on Wednesday, I am gonna try, do like a trial run and see how I go. Um, I ran a little bit on the way back just now, uh, even though I am wearing like, you know, denim shorts and things. But I did run a little bit back home because I realized it was getting a little bit chilly, the sun was setting, and I really wanted to get back and have some food. So, now I'm back home, but let's have some dinner. You know what? I'm gonna have some cereal. You only live once. Why not? I only am feeding myself. I don't need to worry. And it's only one day out of many. It's a rare occasion that I have cereal for dinner. Or I could order in food. That's money. That, that spends money. I'm gonna... I'm gonna have some cereal.